I have genuinely found a tool that completely changes the game when it comes to transforming hours of long form video into perfectly packaged, short, snackable social content. Think about that marathon podcast, the in-depth webinar, or even a lengthy sales discovery call that you've recorded, which otherwise just sits there collecting digital dust. Instead of spending frustrating hours manually chopping up that massive file for TikTok, Instagram Reels, or LinkedIn, you simply drop the entire thing into this platform. The system then intelligently scans the entire recording and spits out a whole batch of ready-to-post clips that are already optimized for engagement. It automatically identifies the most meaningful, juicy segments, adds dynamic subtitles, and even applies some slick aesthetic touches like relevant emojis and a consistent branded sign-off. Seriously, this has saved me an absolutely massive amount of time that I used to waste on tedious, repetitive assembly line work. The first critical step in this whole process is setting up your personal brand kit within the application. Here you upload your official logos, define your specific color palette, and input your preferred fonts if you really want granular control over the look. I must caution you though that some overly stylized display fonts just do not translate well when shrunk down into captions, so sticking to cleaner defaults is often the smarter move. You can also designate a final outro video or even an animated image, perhaps one you created easily in a design tool ensuring every output clip shares an identical channel identity. Achieving that rock solid consistency across your feed is absolutely clutch for building brand recognition without constantly designing from scratch. Next up is diving into the template editor, which is where you precisely dictate the visual structure of your short form videos. You define everything here, whether the main heading sets at the very top, the specific styling of the subtitles, and how those personality boosting emojis are allowed to behave. The actual subtitles are automatically generated from the audio track, and I have to say, they are surprisingly accurate compared to other tools I've tested over the years. However, remember that no AI transcription is truly perfect, so you should always do a quick scan before posting to catch any errors. You will absolutely need to manually adjust industry slang, niche acronyms, or uncommon proper names that the software might misinterpret. One of the genuinely fun features is that the system often suggests and inserts relevant emojis based on the keywords it extracts from your speech. While it's not always flawless, this little addition injects a welcome bit of human personality, making the captions way more likely to grab attention in a crowded feed. That small touch is what separates dry content from something that actually feels like it was produced by a relatable human being. Let me walk you through my exact production process for a recent webinar I wanted to repurpose for short video platforms. Since the original Zoom audio wasn't studio grade quality, I actually re-recorded my own voiceover using just a simple external microphone and then uploaded that clean file. When you finally upload your video file, you have the option to instruct the platform not to permanently burn in the captions, which I always do for maximum future flexibility. You clearly state the source language and then tell the AI to begin generating those powerful promotional clips for you right away. There is a fantastic one-click viral shorts feature that I utilize constantly, as it automatically determines clip length and pinpoints key talking points. Um, you can also input specific phrases or acronyms so the system avoids butchering them in the transcription phase, which is a huge help. Here's a little insider tip. While reviewing the source file, I jot down timestamps and core topic markers on an actual physical piece of paper. This physical reference helps me backtrack and locate specific gold nuggets later, even though the AI has already created dozens of clips automatically. Once you initiate the job, the tool swiftly uploads the asset, processes the entire thing, and then presents you with the auto-sliced highlight reels. For a mere six minute original video I recently tested, it returned 10 perfectly segmented clips in under three minutes, which is frankly unbelievable speed. A unique differentiator I haven't seen much of elsewhere is the viral score assigned to every single clip it generates. This score comes with a brief explanation outlining the exact reasoning why that specific segment has a high potential to perform well with an audience. Seeing that context helps you immediately prioritize which clips you should focus on polishing and deploying to your social channels first. Furthermore, the AI is quite adept at finding and isolating moments where you share concrete, real-life examples, or brief case studies from your original recording. These specific anecdotal nuggets are often the absolute juiciest and most inherently shareable parts of any long-form material. This saves you the painstaking effort of scrubbing through hours of footage just to hunt down those valuable, story-driven moments. Once those clips are compiled, you enter the dedicated editor where the real fine-tuning of each individual asset takes place. In this editor, you see the AI selected segment, the auto-generated subtitles, your chosen heading style, and your preset channel outro all laid out clearly. If the AI awkwardly cut the clip just before or just after a perfect sentence, you can instantly revert or extend the selection with a simple command. You possess the power to swap out the entire visual template, perhaps moving the logo placement from the top bar down to the lower left corner instantly. It's easy to adjust subtitle position, resize those attention-grabbing headings, and tweak element placement for optimal framing. <laughs> Personally, I favor keeping things extremely minimal, just bold, clear subtitles, a short title, and my standard outro. 
letting the words do most of the heavy lifting. However, if you are inclined, the editor also supports layering in supplementary imagery or other media right on top of your primary footage. For my primary use case, the words spoken, coupled with the accurate captions, provide more than enough context to make the point effectively. You can edit the subtitles line by line, which is necessary when the AI has misunderstood a specific word or used an emoji that just doesn't fit the serious context. I often tweak the phrasing slightly to ensure the copy sounds authentically like my own voice, maybe swapping client for customer for a warmer feel. This quick final pass is vital because it guarantees the content maintains that crucial, genuine connection with your established audience. The export process itself is incredibly straightforward, offering you the choice to download the final file locally in up to stunning 4K resolution. Alternatively, you can connect your various social media accounts directly to the platform and schedule the content to publish automatically from there. My absolute favorite workflow involves the integrated post generator, which drafts the accompanying caption text based on the clip's core message. It suggests a tone and formats the text perfectly for whichever platform you choose, getting you like 90% of the way there instantly. You still need to add your unique flavor and fine tune those hashtags, but that initial heavy lifting is completely taken care of. The scheduler is a massive operational time saver because you can queue up content for LinkedIn, TikTok, and others all from one central dashboard. You simply set a consistent posting cadence for the week, and the platform ensures your content pipeline remains consistently full without daily intervention. When comparing this to rivals like Descript or Veed, which I do use sometimes, the value proposition changes based on your primary goal. Descript excels at deep transcript editing and voice cloning, while Veed often brings more flashy, creative visual effects to the table. What sets this tool apart for me is the combination of automated viral topic identification and the seamless content calendar integration. It's designed specifically for the creator who needs to churn out a high volume of social clips from massive recordings without needing to become a full-time post-production expert. If your main objective is achieving deep studio level polish, you might still lean toward a more robust editor, but for sheer speed filling a content calendar, this is significantly faster. Here are a few final practical pointers I gathered from experimenting with this workflow over the last several weeks. Always, always double check those AI generated subtitles, especially for any industry specific names or unfamiliar acronyms. Keep utilizing those timestamp notes you took during review because they provide an excellent manual shortcut to the best parts of your long form material. Treat the viral score as a helpful guide for prioritization, but never as absolute gospel because sometimes the most human engaging stories score lower. Make sure your brand kit elements are locked down and consistent across all outputs because strong repeated branding truly reinforces channel recognition. And finally, if your source audio is truly poor, take the time to clean it up or re-record the voice track because clean audio directly translates to more usable clips. The ultimate takeaway here is that this process allows me to transform a single one hour conversation into an entire month's worth of varied social content in less than 60 minutes. Upload your long recordings, let the AI intelligently discover the highlights, polish the essential captions, and then schedule those top clips directly to your feeds. It won't replace every single task, but it dramatically compresses the time commitment required to keep your digital presence active and engaging. To try this out, just grab any long piece of content you already have, set up your branding, generate the clips, and then see what gems the AI uncovers for you. You will genuinely be amazed at how many absolutely usable, valuable pieces of content are currently buried inside recordings you thought were only good for archival purposes. That concludes my quick dive into how I'm leveraging this tool for rapid content scaling, so feel free to reach out if you get stuck while trying to set up your own workflow. I am genuinely interested to see the incredible short form clips you manage to create once you start harnessing this level of automation in your routine. Go ahead and give it a shot. Take care, and happy clipping out there in the content universe.